Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, where have ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. Israelites, the Most High is revealing a lot of truth at this time. Make sure to obey the Holy Spirit that is with you. Give an ear to the people the Most High led you to. Don't give seducing spirits the opportunity to deceive you by eating from tables the Most High didn't send you to. Israelites, don't allow anyone to influence you to depart from where the Most High sent you. In order for the Most High to order your steps at this time, you have to obey his voice through the Holy Spirit that abide with you. The Most High warned his people that many false prophets and teachers will come in the end times. As long as you are where the Most High sent you, the prophecies from false prophets and teachers will have zero effect on your life. We must obey the voice of the Most High through the Holy Spirit that will reveal truth to us and tell us the things to come. Albeit when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Israelites, it's important for you to take your time to dissect the scriptures with the Holy Spirit. Many Israelites and Gentiles rely on spiritual leaders from religion to guide them spiritually as well as to prophesy. The scripture you just heard in the book of John, let us know it's the Holy Spirit that will reveal the truth to us, as well as tell us the things to come. The Holy Spirit is capable of telling us about events to come, just like a prophet that is prophesying. Israelites, this is why you need to become one with the Holy Spirit. As long as you have the Holy Spirit, you will know everything you need to know. You don't need to rely on prophets to tell you what is coming. Remember, the Most High, the Father, told us the end from the beginning. Remember the former things of old, for I am God, and there is none else. I am God, and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. If we take heed to the truth the Scriptures is revealing to us, we will not fall prey to the false prophets, teachers, leaders, and the spiritual wickedness in high places. The Most High is able to communicate to us through our personal relationship with Him to lead us spiritually. Israelites, that is why you have to look within. If you're looking into the beast system and its religious institutions to find the Most High or to establish a relationship with the Most High, you will not find the Father in the beast religion or culture. The Father said the world hates Him. In addition, the world only accepts its own. Going through the beast system to establish a relationship with the Most High is hurting yourself. You truly have to look within. The kingdom of the Most High is within you. That is what the Messiah said. Neither shall they say, Lo here, or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Looking in the beast system for the Most High will lead you to idols and the God of this world. The Satans will deceive you. Many Israelites and Gentiles have been deceived following the beast religion and beast system. The Holy Spirit would tell you the truth of the Most High's words if you form a partnership with the Holy Spirit. The generation alive when the Word of God became flesh had the opportunity to interact with the Word of God. The generation prior interacted with the supernatural like the Nephilims and the angels. We are the generation that must worship and serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth. That is why we have to look within. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. 
Not too many Israelites know how to serve the Father in the spirit and in truth. Religion is teaching the people to rely on the flesh and emotions to serve the Father. When you look within where the Holy Spirit abide, the Holy Spirit will assist you in your spiritual journey. The problem a lot of Israelites are having is that they want to serve the Father the way our ancestors did. Some Israelites believe if the anointed teachers and prophets don't have an experience with the father like the prophets of old did, they are not called. Israelites, you have to come to terms with the fact that we are the generation the Most High commended to worship and serve in the spirit and in truth. Some of our ancestors dealt with the supernatural like Moses. We had ancestors who knew when they were interacting with the angels and the angel of the Lord. Some of the prophets of old went to the heavens and saw the ins and out of the Most High's creation. The Most High communicated with his prophets when the Holy Spirit would come upon them. And the people, spiritual eyes were open to witness the Spirit of the Most High amongst them. And the Lord came down in the cloud and spake unto him. And took of the spirit that was upon him and gave it unto the seventy elders. And it came to pass that when the spirit rested upon them, they prophesied and did not cease. And it came to pass as Moses entered into the tabernacle, the cloudy pillar descended and stood at the door of the tabernacle. And the Lord talked with Moses. And all the people saw the cloudy pillar stand at the tabernacle door. And all the people rose up and worshipped every man in his tent door. The Most High still communicates to some of his people in those ways today. Israelites, you have to remember that we are a generation of people who have forgotten our God and the laws. We don't have a Moses in this generation that was set a tent of tabernacle to speak with the Most High. We are the generation of Israelites that is scattered all over the world. Most of us don't know our tribes. Majority of Israelites today will only experience the most high through the Holy Spirit that abide within. And I will pray the Father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. We don't have the Messiah in the flesh to teach us like the generation alive when he was flesh. Remember, the Messiah was flesh for a short period of time. Despite their awareness of the supernatural, our ancestors had to have great faith in the Most High. The Holy Spirit is the comforter. The Messiah prayed to the Father to be with us. It's through the Holy Spirit the Most High will communicate with you to give you instructions and to lead you. Anyone who dismiss the Holy Spirit and rely on emotions and human wisdom to identify the signs of the times is not of the Most High. The scriptures reveal it's the Holy Spirit that would teach us everything. The Most High have prophets and teachers he called in this generation. The prophet and teachers assigned for this generation rely on the Holy Spirit, as well as the visions and the dreams given to them by the Most High. Remember, the Most High, the Father said, he will pour out his spirit on his people and they will prophesy and dream dreams. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. Israelites, there will be many false prophets and teachers. However, the righteous prophets called in this generation is out there. The Most High will lead you to them. You have to use discernment. By the way, the Satans can infiltrate your dreams and give you false visions and dreams. The Most High, the Father said, if there be a prophet among us, he will make himself known to the prophet in a vision and speak to the prophet in a dream. And he said, hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream. To the anointed teachers and prophets, you have to use discernment as well. Not all dreams and visions come from the Most High. The Satans can give you false dreams and visions. If the Most High didn't give you the interpretation of a dream, wait until the Father give you understanding to what you saw. You don't want the people to establish covenants with the Satans through false dreams and visions given to you by the kingdom of darkness. 
Everyone must use discernment and depend on the Holy Spirit for assistance. You can't go wrong if you allow the Holy Spirit to guide you into all truth. The Holy Spirit is the one that knows the spirit of the Most High, and the Father revealed his truth by his spirit to us. But God hath revealed them unto us by his spirit. For the spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man, but the spirit of God. Israelites, working with the Holy Spirit is very important for us because we are the end time generation. You will know what to do, where to go, how to keep your family and self safe when you listen to the Holy Spirit. To the remnant, the Most High is directing your path through the Holy Spirit. As the Most High increase our knowledge with truth, many doctrines of devils taught to us by the beast religion will be exposed. The Most High did say everything done in darkness will come to light and every secret will be known. But there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. We are the generation witnessing the Most High exposing the falsehoods and secrets of the kingdom of darkness with truth. There's a large population of Israelites struggling to accept the truth the Most High is making known. The doctrines of devils from the beast religion still have a major stronghold in the hearts and minds of many Israelites. A lot of the doctrines from the beast religion is being repeated in the awakening by Israelites who have accepted these doctrines as truth in their hearts. As the Most High exposed the falsehoods with truth, a great majority of Israelites who have been deceived by these doctrines have become blasphemers. Israelites, the purpose of the awakening is to repent, learn truth, and return to serve the Father in the spirit and in truth. If the beast religion was teaching truth, there would be no need for the Most High to call you out of the beast religion. Let me remind you, the religious leaders you put over yourselves don't serve the God of Israel. They serve the God of this world. The scriptures told us the earth is in the hands of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? The world leaders that have the power to change things are the wicked, the scriptures you just heard in the book of Job is referencing. The spiritual wickedness appoints puppets in your communities to carry out their will. These puppets are operating everything. The food you consume to your religious beliefs, even how you run your household is influenced by the puppets. Social media influenced many people on a lot of things. Just because the leaders in your communities don't make the laws, the low-ranking leaders are just as guilty because they carry out the will of the high-level workers of iniquity in high places. Israelites, it's about time that you understand that these leaders have lied and deceived you. That is why the scripture says Satan have deceived the whole world. And the great dragon was cast out, an old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. The doctrines the workers of iniquity have taught you in the beast religion are doctrines of devils. If you take the time to read the scriptures with the Holy Spirit, in addition, allow the scriptures to speak, you will see the deception in the doctrines you have accepted as truth. The spiritual wickedness in high places use the authorized Bible to deceive the Israelites and Gentiles that refuse to work out their own salvation with fear and trembling. If you put your salvation in the hands of men, you will be deceived. Because many Israelites reject knowledge, they are having a hard time believing the truth the Most High is revealing in the awakening. The Most High have used this channel to expose a lot of the false doctrines deceiving the Israelites and the Gentiles. The Most High also used this channel to expose the alterations inserted in the scriptures as the word of the Most High. Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall ye diminish aught from it that ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you. The synagogue of Satan created a lot of doctrines in religion that doesn't have the support of the scriptures. The synagogue of Satan's doctrines are successful because they've managed to convince many people not to read the scriptures with the Holy Spirit. The high level workers of iniquity in Christianity encourage their members to rely on their pastors and spiritual leaders. The spiritual wickedness in high places deceive many people by telling them accepting Jesus give them access to his coming kingdom. 
Over 3 billion people have made Jesus their Lord and Savior. If Israelites truly read the scriptures for themselves, they would see how the Satans deceived them to go against the very God they proclaim to love and serve. Israelites, it's about time that you understand the Messiah that came in the Father's name is not loved and accepted by this world. The world hated him and they will hate all who truly follow him to the Father. If the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. Today, we have over 3 billion people proclaiming to love the Messiah. The Messiah out of his own mouth said the world hated him first. Since the world hated the Messiah that came in the Father's name, how is it over 3 billion people is serving and worshiping him? The God of Israel is not the God of this world. The God of this world is whom the 3 billion believers around the world serve and worship. The God of this world is not the most high, but Satan. Every doctrine that is welcome in the beast religion is meant to glorify the God of this world. Israelites, it's important for you to have a complete understanding to what you support and accept as truth. Christianity have many popular doctrines and catchphrases that sound good, but don't have the support of the scriptures. The workers of iniquity who are the founder of these doctrines made a covenant with hell. They made lies their refuge. The scriptures made it known they hide behind their falsehoods. Because ye have said, we have made a covenant with death, and with hell are we at agreement. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. For we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. How many ways must the scriptures tell us not to follow after the heathens and their gods? The Most High told us not to make any covenants with the heathens and with their gods. Today, three billion people made a covenant with the God of the heathens to be their Lord and Savior. Israelites, if your God is the same God as the heathens, know that you have an idol as a God. The heathens make all of their sacrifices to devils. You can't be a pagan and serve the God of Israel. Pagans serve multiple gods. The father won't share his glory with another, nor will he allow his people to serve multiple gods. I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Israelites, we are in the land of our captivity because the Most High remove us out of his sight for our unfaithfulness towards him. Israelites, don't let the heathens deceive you with their falsehoods. Many of you have heard the doctrine about the denial of Jesus as God makes you the Antichrist. I know many of you who reject the doctrines from Rome have been called an Antichrist on multiple occasions. I can't tell you how many times I've been called the Antichrist. Today, we will find out who amongst us is being controlled by the Antichrist spirit. Israelites, it's important for you to know that there's the Antichrist and there's the Antichrist spirit. Many blasphemers are quick to call a person the Antichrist and they can't differentiate between the Antichrist spirit and the Antichrist himself. The book of John revealed that the Antichrist will come. The scriptures in the book of John went on to say that there were many Antichrists in the world already. The scriptures went on to identify the people who denied the Messiah came in the flesh are the people who have the spirit of the Antichrist. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. Israelites, did you hear the scripture? Every person that don't believe the Messiah came in the flesh have the spirit of the Antichrist. The scripture went on to say the spirit of the Antichrist is already in the world. The Antichrist spirit had been here since the generation of the disciples. Israelites, did you hear how the scriptures identify the people with the Antichrist spirit? Everyone who denied the Messiah came in the flesh. Some scriptures say if you deny the Messiah as the anointed one and deny the father are the people with the Antichrist spirit. The Antichrist spirit have nothing to do with believing the Messiah to be the father in the flesh. Today, we have Israelites in the awakening repeating the false doctrines from Rome. The scripture said nothing about anyone who don't believe Jesus to be the most high in the flesh is the Antichrist. 
Many people are called antichrist for not believing Jesus or Yeshua to be the most high in the flesh. The scriptures never said this. This falsehood was spread in the beast culture to dismiss the people who don't believe in the Trinity doctrine, as well as Jesus being the most high, the father in the flesh. The scriptures made it known the people with the antichrist spirit is all who deny the Messiah to have come in the flesh and all who deny the Messiah to be the anointed one and they deny the father. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of antichrist whereof ye have heard that it should come and even now already is it in the world. Who is a liar but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ? He is Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Now that you have heard who the scriptures identify as a person with the Antichrist spirit, many people, including me, have been called an Antichrist by blasphemers who don't know what the scriptures are saying. The synagogue of Satan increased the voice of the false prophets and teachers in the beast system. They popularized their doctrines. After years of indoctrinating the people with their doctrines of devils, the people start to believe the lies. When the Holy Spirit opens your eyes, you will find the truth in the altered scriptures. That is why the workers of iniquity spent multiple generations indoctrinating the people with their falsehoods. They encourage you to stay out of the Old Testament and they slander alternative books with truth to indoctrinate the people with their false doctrines. Presently in the awakening, the Most High is exposing the lies. It was prophesied that everything secret will be made manifest and everything hidden will be known. The Israelites and the Gentiles that accepted and believe in the doctrines from Rome are wrestling with the truth the Most High is making available to set them free. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Israelites, it's the truth that will make you free as well as sanctify you. The doctrines don't set you free. Doctrines put you in bondage. The awakening is here to set the righteous free from religious bondage. Unfortunately, there are many Israelites in the awakening whose eyes are closed because the God of this world have blind their eyes. They cannot perceive the truth in the scriptures. They have made a covenant with the God of this world to be their Lord and Savior. Until they repent and welcome the truth with gladness, the God of this world will continue to control them with their falsehoods. The scripture said everyone who denied the Messiah to be the son is a liar. The scripture went on to say everyone who denied the father and son have the antichrist spirit. Who is a liar but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ? He is antichrist that denieth the father and the son. You heard for yourself what the scripture said. I allow the scripture to speak. You can find this verse in any authorized Bible. The scriptures let us know plainly that if you deny the Messiah as the Christ or son of the most high, as well as deny the father, you have the antichrist spirit. To the Israelites who repeat what they hear and don't seek the face of the father for answers. Do you see how you have obtained the antichrist spirit and become a blasphemer in the end times? This is why I say know your beliefs. Don't be a follower by repeating popular doctrines and catchphrases whose roots come from the mother harlot, the Roman Catholic Church. Everything that is popular in this world is an abomination to the Most High. And he said unto them, Ye are they which justify yourselves before men, but God knoweth your hearts, for that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of God. The truth of the Most High's words is not a popularity contest. Most people tend to gravitate towards what is popular. That is why the road that leads to destruction is massive. Israelites, I will show you how the Satans continue to deceive many in the awakening. The popular doctrine from Rome that states anyone who denied Jesus as God the Father in the flesh is the Antichrist. In actuality, the scripture said everyone who denied the Messiah to be the Christ the anointed one or the son of the most high is the antichrist. Israelites, listen to me carefully. According to the beast culture religious data, over 3 billion people follow the faith called Christianity. The foundational belief of the Christian faith is that Jesus or the Messiah is God the Father in the flesh. 
Over 3 billion people believe this to be true. There are countless other religious faith in this world who don't acknowledge the Messiah or the Most High. These people serve other gods. According to what is written in the authorized Bible, published and made available for all to read, the three billion in Christianity who believe Jesus or Yahshua is God the Father in the flesh have the spirit of the Antichrist. The scripture clearly said all who deny the Messiah is the anointed one, the Christ or the Son of God, and all who deny the Father have the Antichrist spirit. Christians believe Jesus or Yahshua is God the Father. And many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through his name. Who's truly the Antichrist? This is why you must read the scriptures for yourself and allow the Holy Spirit to lead. So many in religion are quick to slander a person who don't share in their faith. When the truth of the scriptures is made known, the believers can't handle it. So many will say, I never denied the Messiah. A large population of Israelites and Gentiles deny the Messiah as the son. They believe he's the father in the flesh. The scripture in the book of 1 John said, if you deny them both, you have the Antichrist spirit. If you deny the Messiah is the Son or the Christ, you have the Antichrist spirit. A great majority of Israelites believe the Messiah is the Father. All who share this belief is denying the Father unawares. Do you see how the Satans continue to deceive many at the last hour? When some Israelites hear the truth, they reject the truth. Israelites, it's the truth of the Most High's words that will sanctify you. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. The lies from the workers of iniquity will make you a bondman and woman forever. Israelites, that is why you have to let the Most High renew your mind. The scripture said there will be a rise of false prophets and teachers in the end times. There's also a rise in blasphemers and many with the Antichrist spirit as well. The scriptures told us in the book of John that many people will have the Antichrist spirit. That is how we will know we are at the last hour. Today, we have over 3 billion people who refer to themselves as believers. These believers are unaware that they have the Antichrist spirit. Also, in the awakening, there are many Israelites who share the same beliefs with the church. All who share the belief of the Messiah being the Father have the Antichrist spirit. The Satans, through religion, deceive them into believing the Messiah is God the Father instead of the Son. Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. Israelites, it's important to go deep with the Most High. The spirit of pride will cause you to deceive yourself. So many Israelites believe they've already made it into the kingdom through the Messiah. I don't know how when you don't know your God. You follow religious doctrines instead of the Holy Spirit that is supposed to guide you into all truth. The awakening needed to happen for you to finally hear the truth. The gospel of the kingdom we are all hearing as a witness to all nations is giving all people the opportunity to know the truth. You have to renew your mind. How can Israelites accept as truth the doctrines from the religious organizations the scriptures refer to as the mother harlot? The high level workers of iniquity removed the name of the father from the scriptures. They inserted their idols into the scriptures. They disregarded the Most High's warnings and altered the scriptures. In addition to the alterations, they distribute the altered scriptures in the authorized Bible all over the world to be a stumbling block to the people. Today in the awakening, we have Israelites serving the same God as the religious organization who served the God of this world. The heathens don't serve your God, Israelites. They serve devils. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table of devils. Israelites, 
you can't sit at the tables of religion and accept their doctrines of devils as truth and come to sit at the table of the most high in the awakening. You're only deceiving yourself. The most high knows your heart. You can deceive men, but you cannot deceive the most high. The antichrist spirit have been in this world for a long time. The antichrist spirit deceived many in this generation. Now that you know about the Antichrist spirit that is in the world, the scriptures prophesied about the Antichrist. The men of sin is prophesied to come in the end times. The men of sin will share the same characteristics with the people who have the Antichrist spirit. The men of sin is a blasphemer. The men of sin will exalt himself and declare himself to be the most high. Let no man deceive you by any means For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. The scriptures in the book of Daniel confirm the men of sin blasphemous ways. The book of Daniel confirmed that the Antichrist will obtain the kingdom by flatteries and lies. The Antichrist will have a small following, but he will be strong with the small people. Once the Antichrist established a covenant with the people, that is when he will work in deceit. Israelites, this is why you don't make covenants with the heathens and with their gods. Once they have a covenant, you gave them consent to do as their heart desired. It's important to only set the most high over you. And in his estate shall stand up a vile person to whom... They shall not give the honor of the kingdom, but he shall come in peaceably and obtain the kingdom by flatteries. And with the arms of a flood shall they be overflown from before him and shall be broken, yea, also the prince of the covenant. And after the league made with him, he shall work deceitfully, for he shall come up and shall become strong with a small people. Both the book of Daniel and the book of Thessalonians said the Antichrist will exalt himself above every God. He will even speak against the Most High. And the king shall do according to his will, and he shall exalt himself and magnify himself above every God, and shall speak marvelous things against the God of gods, and shall prosper till the indignation be accomplished, for that that is determined shall be done. Neither shall he regard the God of his fathers, nor the desire of women, nor regard any God, for he shall magnify himself above all. The Antichrist was set up the abomination of desolation Daniel saw in a vision. The Messiah also prophesied about the abomination of desolation. When the Antichrist set up the abomination of desolation, the scriptures reveal to us it will be a time of trouble. This will be the beginning to the great tribulation. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. And woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. But pray ye, that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. As you heard in the scriptures that the Antichrist would come in the end times, and he will set up the abomination of desolation. This will mark the beginning of the great tribulation. Israelites, it's important for you to pay attention to the signs of the times set by the Most High. A lot of Israelites believe they have time. Because many Israelites believe they have a lot of time in their hands, many are playing in the awakening with the words of the Most High. I did a message titled The Gospel of Truth two months ago and told you we have reached a time where the gospel of the kingdom must be heard in all the kingdoms of this world. Once every nation hear the truth as a witness, Then the end will come. Israelites, the Antichrist is coming after everyone have heard the truth. We are the generation hearing the truth right now. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation, 
spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. Israelites, you have to stand strong in the truth. When the man of sin comes with his many falsehoods, you will be able to stand firm. I believe the abomination of desolation is the Jewish Messiah. The imposters have been waiting on their Messiah to come. They made plans already to build the temple. When the Antichrist come, he will set up the abomination of desolation, the Jewish Messiah. If you have an ear to hear, let them hear. Israelites, some of us in the awakening are genuinely trying to wake up the people. There are many ministers of Satan in the awakening, deceiving many for views, money, and power. Israelites, you have to use discernment to differentiate the ministers of Satan from the anointed. Israelites, the time is of the essence. You don't have as much time as many of you believe you have. The Messiah said in the book of Revelation, I'm coming quickly and my rewards is with me. And behold, I come quickly. And my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. Some of you really need to examine yourself to see if your works will earn a reward from the most high through the Messiah. The Antichrist spirit is strong upon many who thought they wouldn't be affected by the Antichrist spirit. The prophet John spoke about the Antichrist spirit when he was teaching the people. John lived multiple years ago. During his time, the Antichrist spirit was already in the world. Today, we are living in the end times while the gospel of the kingdom is being heard. The Antichrist spirit is strong upon all who reject the truth. Because many don't have a love for the truth, the strong delusion is upon them. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they received not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Israelites, it's important to have discernment at the times we're living in. Don't allow anyone to direct your path. Give the Most High the job to guide you into all truth by His Spirit. The Most High is revealing a lot at this time. Pray and ask the Father to give you understanding. Don't just get wisdom, get understanding as well. The scripture said, you know we are at the last hour when the Antichrist spirit is strong upon the people. Over 80% of this world's population have some sort of religious faith. The most popular faith in this world believe the Messiah is the most high, while the others don't serve the most high nor acknowledge his son. I say the Antichrist spirit is strong upon the people. Israelites, listen to the Most High. Don't allow yourself to become a blasphemer like the Antichrist. Don't allow the spirit of the Antichrist to deceive you. Humble yourself, pray, and seek the face of the Most High. The Father gave us everything that we need to succeed. The scripture said in the book of Daniel that those of us that know our God will be strong. And such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries. But the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Israelites, how many of you truly know the Most High and His only begotten Son? The Most High is giving His people time in the awakening to get to know Him. Israelites, use this time wisely. All of us must work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. <laughs>